Hello everybody, it's Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build. Oh my goodness. Today I built a two bedroom, two bathroom home. Um, it is called Chestnut Place and I think it's super cute. I actually don't really like the upstairs that much, but the downstairs is real cute. So it's okay. It kind of makes up for it maybe a little bit. At least that's what I tell myself to sleep at night. So, you know, <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, it's um, super cute. There's a little toddler room upstairs and like a master bedroom and it's really cute and fun. I don't know. I like it. It took me about an hour and 45 minutes to build, which I feel like builds are starting to take me longer and longer. <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing or just kind of like a and whatever thing. Why did I say it like that? Anyways, uh, <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, uh, I've been spending a longer amount of time on my builds and I don't know how I feel about it, but we're just going to pretend that it's a good thing and it means that they're better because there's more detail. That's what we're going to go for. Okay, whether or not it's true, we won't worry about that part. Just, it's fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, how are you guys uh, doing? How's, how's it going? Uh, I've, you know, had a, had a stressful um, time lately, but that's fine. Um, I've been, like, on and off sick for, like, the past, like, I'll have one day where I'm really, really not feeling well, and, and like, it's so bad, and I always end up having to work on these days for whatever, like, it always falls on a day that I work which is fun. Uh, no, it's not. It's not fun, actually. It's horrible. That's okay. Um, but yeah, it happened a couple weeks ago, and I remember because I was working 5 to 9, and like in the evening, and when I woke up, like I kind of wasn't feeling good, but wasn't that big of a deal, like not bad enough to call in sick, but by the time that like the time of my actual shift rolled around, it was really bad. Like, to the point where if I had felt like that when I woke up in the morning, I probably would have called in sick. But then, by the time that I felt like I needed to call in sick, it was like an hour before my shift. Like, I'm not gonna call in sick an hour before I'm supposed to be there and be like, yeah, hey, sorry, I know you need me in an hour and that's not enough time for you to find someone to replace me, but like, I'm just not coming in, so cool? Yeah, I'm, I'm not that person. <laughs> so, I didn't call in sick, I just kind of went and it was fine. It was actually was fine because it was a really slow night and I ended up getting put on self-checkout so it was fine. But man, I whew. And then it happened again yesterday and there's kind of like a reason for it now that's like TMI and personal so we're not going to get into it. But um, yesterday I really wasn't feeling good. I was in a lot of pain plus I was feeling really sick. Um, I was getting super nauseous and it was really bad. Uh, I should clarify that the reason, oh no, you know how I just said, there's a reason for it now, and then I said, I was feeling nauseous. I'm not pregnant. That's not the reason. In fact, it's the opposite of that. So it's fine. I'm, I'm not pregnant, but anyways, wowza. Um, yeah, so what was I even talking about? yesterday. I worked yesterday and I really wasn't feeling good. Okay. I, like, I really wasn't feeling good. And I was really hoping that I would get put on self-checkout because when you're on self-checkout, you just kind of, like, it's a lot less. Like, you don't have, you're not moving around as much. You don't have to talk to people as much. Like, it's, it, it's a lot less. It requires a lot less. It's easier. Um, and so I was really hoping to be put on self-checkout because that day that I worked five to nine and I really wasn't feeling good. Um, I was on till for like an hour and then I was put on self-checkout so it was fine because I was just on self-checkout and I like didn't really, it was fine, I didn't, it, it was just good. So I was hoping that I would get put on self-checkout and I was on self-checkout for like the first half hour and then I had to go on till for the rest of my shift and it was really sad. I was not feeling it, really was not feeling it, but it's okay, um, so I was really like, just kind of out of it because I was feeling nauseous, I just wasn't feeling good, 
and I was in a lot of pain, like I said earlier, and so I just was not in a good mood, and so I can understand that to a lot of customers that probably seemed like I was in a bad mood, because I was, and like I wasn't as like nice and happy and bubbly as I usually am, and I felt kind of bad about that, but you know, what are you going to do? can't have a good day every day, okay? That's my pro tip. You can't have a good day every day. It's okay to have a bad day every once in a while. It happens to everyone. It's fine. Um, so, yeah. But, actually, something happened at work yesterday that I was, like, really, really, that I want to tell you guys about. So, for context to this story, um, I'm 18 years old. I graduated high school last year. And I'm taking a year off of school to work because um, university is expensive and I'm poor. Hi. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm an 18 year old high school graduate. And yesterday, at like, again for context, like 6 in the evening, right? Like supper time deal. This guy <laughs> comes through my till and I'm just, you know, scanning his stuff through doing my job it's fine and he looks at me and goes shouldn't you be in school which first of all it's six in the evening <laughs> so I don't know why you think I should be at school right now like unless I was in a night class or something but you wouldn't just look at someone and assume that oh you must be in the night class why are you at work right so it's kind of like I don't know why you're asking me that at 6 p.m. Uh, why I'm not at school but I was like, no, I actually graduated high school last year. And he, like, looked at me with, like, this baffled look. And he was like, seriously? I thought you were, like, going into grade 10 or something. Like, you were a student trainee. And I was like, no, I worked here for two and a half years. Actually, I can train people in multiple areas of the store. So, yeah, no. But good try, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Uh, and he was just so shocked that I'm graduated because he was certain that I'm just a 15 year old going into high school. Nope. Been there, done that. Those three years of my life are over. Thank God. <laughs> so that was fun. And then I told my best friend who also works at the same place I do. And she was like, oh God. And I was like, yeah, this is my life. Um, people don't believe me when I am at a restaurant and they ask for my ID and I give it to them and they like look like shocked and I'm like yeah I know it's fine just don't worry about it I know I look three years younger than I really am but we just it's fine I also in his defense not that I really want to defend him <laughs> because first of all okay I'm gonna get into this later but I wasn't wearing makeup yesterday because, like I stated earlier, I was feeling really crappy, and so I was like, screw this, I ain't wearing makeup because I'm not feeling good and I can't be bothered. So I wasn't wearing any makeup, and I do think I look younger when I'm not wearing any makeup, plus, like, my face was, like, really red and, like, I look bad. And so, like, I guess it's, like, that makes it a little bit more understandable, but I'm just saying... That even if you go somewhere and you see someone and you're sure that they're like why why would you ask that that's what I don't get and then when I when he you know makes the mistake shouldn't you be in school and I say oh no I actually graduated even if in your head you're like oh god there's no way that's so crazy you shouldn't say that to the person like is it just me who thinks that's kind of really rude to just be like, oh, wow, you're 18. I thought you were a 15-year-old. That's crazy. Like, why would you say that to me? How do you think that's supposed to make me feel? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how am I supposed to take that? <laughs> uh, so I just don't understand stuff like that. There's even stuff like... Um, I'm a fairly slim girl, um, not a lot of meat on these bones, and people will just like make comments about it that are super unnecessary and like, okay, see why you might think that, but why would you then say it to me? Like making comments about how, 
oh, you look like you haven't eaten in months, and do your parents even feed you, and blah, 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 all these, like, and I get that they're saying it in good fun, but it's rude, and I don't understand why you meet a stranger, first of all, someone who you've, you don't know them, you don't know what their life is like, you don't know maybe why, maybe there's a reason that I'm so skinny, maybe I actually am really sick or something, and it's really rude for you to just make a comment about it. Like, I don't understand why people think that's okay, because it's not. <laughs> And it just irks me a little bit, a lot, actually. It makes me really frustrated. Because it's just like, you have no business saying that. You really don't. Sorry. Maybe I'm too sensitive, but like, it, there's just no point to it. You don't gain anything from it. And if anything, the person you're talking to, you're just going to hurt their feelings. So it's like a, either you both get nothing out of it, or you get nothing out of it, and they get their feelings hurt. It's like... There's no good outcome to making comments like that, so why? I just don't get it. I really don't. Like, it's different if you are if you know the person, your family or friends, and you're, like, joking around with them, and they're, like, in on it, and they think it's funny and whatever. But if it's a stranger, like, just don't. <laughs> like, I don't get it. Ugh. It's frustrating. It's frustrating especially because it's something that I've dealt with my entire life, and you reach a certain point where you're like, yes, I know I'm skinny, yes, I know I look young, you don't need to point it out like literally every single other person I ever come across. It's fine. Like, stop. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm very passionate about these things. I have lots of feelings about these things because I just don't get it. I really don't. But, you know, that's fine. <laughs> That story was not supposed to turn into some big rant about how I hate people who don't mind their own business and make rude comments to strangers, but that's what it turned into, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Everything's fine. I'm not bad. I'm just mad. <sighs> um, so yeah. Anyways, how's, how's your day going? <laughs> Sorry for getting all angry, Amber, on you. Didn't mean to. Really didn't just kind of happens sometimes. Um, do you guys have any plans for Halloween? That's what I want to know. It's almost Halloween, you guys. Yay, I hate Halloween, but you know, it's fine. Um, I personally don't know what I'm doing on Halloween because I was invited to hang out with friends. Yikes, I know. <laughs> no, but um, a couple of my friends wanted to like not have a party, but just like get a group of people together type deal. Um, but I work from 2.30 to 6.30 on Halloween. Maybe I shouldn't be, like, openly giving out my work schedule on the internet, but it's fine. Um, you don't know where I work, so it's, it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah, I work on, um, on Halloween. But I only work until 6.30, and it's Halloween, so, like, you know, people often do things later than that, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I did hear something about the city that I live in. I don't know if this is true because I just kind of heard it from an unreliable source, but <laughs> I heard because there are a couple of other smaller cities in the province I live in that do this, or I think it's just one other city, but whatever, where they implement these bylaws that um, the first one is that you have to be 16 or younger to trick or treat, and then the second one is a curfew for anyone under 18, which doesn't affect me because I'm 18, but um, if the police catch me and they're not going to believe that I'm 18, so maybe it does affect me, I don't know. Uh, I want to try and buy a lottery ticket one day and just see the look on their face. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, the, the curfew, I think it's like 10 p.m. is the curfew, but I don't know if that's actually happening. I just heard that it might so I don't know, and we just had a municipal election, which I didn't vote in because I'm a bad citizen, and I think we got a new mayor. <laughs> I don't know who the new mayor is because I didn't pay attention to it. Like, I would have voted because I can vote because I'm 18. <laughs> Holla. But, um, yeah, I would have voted except for the fact that I literally didn't know anything about any of the people running, and so it's like, well, I'm not going to go vote. Like, my vote would just be like a 
blindly picking names with like no idea why or what this person stands for or whatever and it's just a municipal election so it's like not that important I don't know like if it was a federal election then I would have voted but like it's just within the city so like I don't know I don't really care who mayor is uh like and it's kind of weird that we have a different mayor now because the person who was the mayor of the city had like been mayor since I was old enough to know who our mayor was like he's always been the mayor for as long as I've known who the mayor is so it's kind of weird that now it's a different person and I don't even know who this different person is <laughs> like I don't I'm pretty sure it's a girl though because I'm pretty sure I remember overhearing um, one of my coworkers have a conversation with their customer about how it's like we haven't had a female mayor in so long and so it's like crazy that it's a female I guess I don't know um, so that's cool I mean I could look it up but I'm not gonna do that right now you guys don't need to listen to me look up who my mayor is something that I should probably already know anyways but don't because I'm I just don't know I don't know who the mayor is not my not my problem although it is my problem because I mean I live here but it's fine it's totally fine I probably should have voted but I also worked that day um, and I mean I could have gone before work but too much that's too much too much effort that I'm not willing to put in so that's cool um, I bought a box of Halloween candy today uh, and uh, I'm not going to give it to trick-or-treaters I'm just gonna eat it so that's cool do you guys ever do that last year I was so bad literally the day that because I work at a grocery store the day we came out with our Halloween candy I bought a box of 100 and then I would eat that in like a week and then go back and buy another box of 100 and eat that in a week and go back and buy another box of 100 until we ran out of Halloween candy <laughs> at the store not at my house at the store like I literally always had a box of Halloween candy and I would always get the Nestle one right I didn't get the Nestle one this time because they didn't the only Nestle box they had was a 30 piece and I was like no not worth it so I got a Hershey's one it has the Hershey's milk chocolate and the Hershey's cookies and cream and I don't like the cookies and cream but my boyfriend does so he'll eat those and I'll eat the milk chocolate ones but I usually get the Nestle ones so they have Smarties um, Kit Kats arrows and coffee crisps and I the only thing I don't like of those is coffee crisps I think they're gross and so I would just eat all of the other ones and then just give away the coffee crisp. I was like a coffee crisp dealer. <laughs> I was like, hey, you want a coffee crisp? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, it was really bad, actually. I, um, I, I got a lot of acne from that. And I also uh, I gained some weight from that. Which, honestly, in my case, probably isn't that much of a bad thing. But, you know. Yeah. You know. I don't know. <laughs> um, so that's fun. Uh, I don't re really recommend it. It's really bad for you. You probably shouldn't just go buy like boxes and boxes and boxes of Halloween candy and then just eat it all by yourself, except for the coffee crisps. Probably a bad idea. You know, I've never actually had a coffee crisp. I don't know why, but when I was little, I was pretty picky and there would be a lot of foods that I never had, but they just didn't sound that good and so I just like said I didn't like them and because I've been saying I don't like them for so long that now I just like don't eat them because it's like in my head that I don't like them even though I've never tried them and I probably never will try them <laughs> because in my head I'm like no I don't like those even though I've never had them before uh, but it's fine it's like that with coffee crisps avocados I've never had an avocado I just say I don't like it it's it's whatever yeah I don't know or any <laughs> are any of you guys like that maybe it's just me maybe I'm weird but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and go now so uh, thank you all so much for watching this speed build I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed listening to my stories um, I hope that you all have a super amazing day and I'll see you all in my very next video bye guys <laughs>